Hi everyone, my name is Bethany and I'm a third year graduate teacher with a Bachelor of Teaching primary degree and I'm here to show you uh, my maths lessons over the two days when I had my daughter here at home. I uh, should mention quickly that my daughter's in year four so all the activities that I'm going to present to you today are relevant to her age and stage at school. Uh, the first day we chose a lucky number for the day which just was 75, it was a random number. Uh, so we talked about the number, we wrote the number in words, we wrote the number using the numbers, we built the number using tens and ones blocks. Uh, for you out there, if you don't have those sorts of things, you can use anything, uh, Play-Doh, popsicle sticks, pebbles, leaves, go outside, get some twigs, whatever you can use to make it hands-on. It's really important to make as many things hands-on as you can. Um, one of the other things that we did was we cooked in the kitchen using maths. So you can see in this picture the recipe that we used when we were in the kitchen doing maths and the recipe was only for one person so my daughter had to figure out how many more ingredients that she would need to make the recipe for two people so it was really hands-on, it was all working around the mathematical thinking and it was also really tasty at the end so win-win. <laughs> So once we'd finished with maths in the kitchen, we then came back and I did a few more fun, interesting activities with my daughter. Uh, one of the ones I found was this code breaker activity, which was kind of literacy and maths at the same time. So what it involved was me coming up with the code and then she had to break the code. So I made it relevant to the spelling words that we had earlier in the day on, on the fridge and she had to break the code and find out what the words were so that for her that was really fun and another activity that I did which was hands-on and fun and creative as well is this colour by numbers activity that I found uh, working on her five times tables so she had to do the sum find out what the colour was and then had to paint that so didn't quite get finished but really fun. Another hands-on activity that I used with my daughter was time. So we created a clock using a paper plate, some split pins, uh, did it really simply. All I did was I put a line down the middle of the clock and I had one side that said past and the other side that said two. And I would create some times off the top of my head and say, you know, show me this time, show me that time. So she's using the paper plate clock as a way of showing me what the time was and then we also did some writing down of the times in analogue time and writing words as well. So you'll actually need two paper plates to make the paper clock with. The one underneath is where you put the five minute increments on and then the one on top you need to make sure that you've cut those flaps so that um, when it's on top you can lift up the flap and the your child can see how many minutes passed or how many minutes to the next time as they're doing that unit of time. Really simple to make. There's some really simple instructions out there on Google and I will attach the link to the one that I use. They're simple to make. Uh, another thing that I did with my daughter, we played hopscotch. So when we were playing hopscotch, every time my daughter threw the pebble, I got her to choose a way of skip counting. So one time was by twos, the next count time was skip counting by fives, the next time was skip counting by tens. And then I said to her, how else do you know how to skip count? And she said, oh, I know how to skip count by threes. So we did skip counting by threes. So again, another really easy activity to set up. All you need is some chalk or just some squares that you can use and... Uh, it's, in, it's an outside activity and it gets them active and moving whilst they're doing maths. So another really fun activity to do. So that was basically my math session over the two days that I had my daughter at home. While she was home, we also used technology and the site that I used was Prodigy. Prodigy is free and is suitable for children aged 5 through to 14. So it's a really great website. My daughter absolutely loves it. Um, so I just suggest to all of you out there, if you need something, a little bit of a break from being outside or doing some written stuff, it's a really good way of using technology. Um, I'd just like to say thank you for watching my videos. Keep in touch. Uh, again, with this video in the comments below, I'll attach the websites that I've been using that are really helpful. And good luck, guys. Have lots of fun. Bye.